The Biography of Jane Child Jane Richmond Hotslop, professionally known as Jane Child, was born on February 15, 1967, is a Canadian singer, songwriter, and record producer. She is best known for her hit single, Don't Want Fall in Love. She is also known for her unusual fashion style, which included a hairstyle made of spikes and ankle-length braids and a nose chain piercing. Jane Child was born in Toronto, Canada, and is the daughter of noted Canadian classical musician, Ricky Hyslop. While her mother was a singer and pianist, she has two brothers. She was raised in a Christian home and was trained as a pianist during her youth. Her parents taught her how to play and sing by the time she was in kindergarten. The first record she ever owned was the Beatles' Rubber Soul, purchased by her father so that she could learn the arrangement of Michelle. Her exposure to funk music came from celebrating Christmas holidays in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, and listening to local music there on the beaches. At age 12, she joined the Canadian Opera Company's Children's Chorus and soon after studied piano briefly at the Royal Conservatory of Music under Samuel Dolan. At age 15, she dropped out of high school despite earning good grades. While seeking a summer job, she saw an ad in a newspaper for a band looking for a keyboardist, which she applied for and joined. It was a touring rock and roll band of deadheads known as Summer Hill that played remote northern Canadian towns and paid her $25 a week. She played the synthesizer, piano, and organ and sang in their shows for over 45 weeks in their first year together. She also had various other musical projects, such as an organist at the Angelican Church in her neighborhood and at horse race shows, playing the piano for ballet classes and at piano bars, and recording jingles for commercials. Eventually, Jane Child cut a demo tape in Hamilton, Ontario with the engineer who owned the studio, where she had been recording jingles. With a low budget, she would take a bus to the studio and play all the instruments herself. Jane was signed by a New York-based production company after a partner in the company, who was a client of Jane's entertainment lawyer, heard the tape. She subsequently relocated to New York and then Los Angeles. Adamant about producing her own music, Jane left the label. After a bidding war with 13 other labels, she settled with Warner Brothers Record Records, who had agreed to sign her on her own terms. At the time, she was struggling to pay bills despite extravagant nights out for label meetings. One of her first potential breaks was when a publishing company sent a song she wrote to Maurice Whitehead, but in the end, he chose not to record the song, although liking it. Her self-titled album, Jane Child, was released in 1989, was fully written and produced by Jane herself, who also performed all the vocals and played all the instruments, except for the guitar parts, a rarity for a debut artist signed to a major label. Due her, to her musical style and her emphasized um, control over her music, she was at the time labeled by the press as the female version of Prince. She is best known for the hit single, Don't Wanna Fall In Love, which peaked at number two on the Billboard Hot 100 in 1990. The song was also a big hot hit on the R&B chart, a rarity for a Caucasian artist at that time, peaking at number six. Her previous single, Welcome to the Real World, was a modest hit, peaking at number 49 on the Billboard Hot 100. In 1993, she released her second album, Here Not There. In the album, she brought in her R&B sound to mix with traces of rock, grunge, and Eastern music. The album and its singles were commercial failures, and she was dropped from the label and kept a low profile from the remainder of the 90s de decade. Although releasing a few collaborations with Japanese artists in that country, in 2001, she re-recorded the song World Lullaby from her debut album and sold the single via her website. All proceeds were donated to the Twin Towers Fund. Her third album, Surge, was released in early 2002 on her own label, Sugar Wave. She recorded a cover of Tina Turner's We Don't Need Another Hero for the tribute album, What's Love? A Tribute to Tina Turner, was released in 2004. In the Just Dance video game franchise, she continued vocals to cover songs for Just Dance in 2016 and Just Dance in 2017. Jane Child's exterior look was inspired by African and East Indian cultures, as well as the punk movement, she, which from living amongst these dysphorias in Toronto. Her notable hairstyle, which she started at 17, would be redone once a month by three women taking 14 hours to do. Her musical influences included Stevie Wonder, Led Zeppelin, Jimi Hendrix, Janis Joplin, Public Enemy, among others. Jane would do her own cataloging for the programming, including samples and sequences, often 14 hours at a time. 
She writes with her left hand and was seen as she wrote. Jane Child is married to Cat Gray, the chief musician on Les Mickendale since 2004. In 1990, she purchased the 1917 Los Angeles house of Vita Bigford, a locally based guitarist and mandolinist. She enjoys collecting citrons and antiques. I wanted to do this short bio on Miss Child because it's a part of my childhood. I remember that when this song was first played in the hood back in 89, the good old days. Okay, y'all. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.